Sup all, JC3 here the Baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the moment that Kobe Bryant became a star. Now I first have to say that I realize that nothing happens overnight. Players work their entire lives to reach the highest level of their sport. So this video and the ones theme like this to come are not in any way saying that these players were nothing before one performance then all of a sudden we're stars. The purpose of this video is to take a defining moment early in a superstar's career and show how it propelled them into stardom, put them on the map, so to say. So yes, Kobe had big plays and moments before this one, but you will see how this moment in his early career to be discussed today elevated fans' views of him nationwide to stardom. Before I jump into today's topic, I have to say thank you all again for the support shown on the last couple of videos. It's been incredible. I value your feedback in the comments down below, so keep it going down there and leave a thumbs up if you want to see more of these type of videos. I look at more than views and thumbs ups and comments really do mean a lot to me. So let's keep this going and let's start on today's topic. What if I told you that it wasn't the 1997 dunk contest win or dropping 33 on MJ's Bulls in 97 or becoming the youngest ever in 1998 at age 19 to make an all-star team or throwing the infamous lob to Shaq against Portland in the 2000 Western Conference Finals that propelled Kobe into stardom. What if I told you that a series in which he averaged these numbers, more specifically one game in that series that did so for young Kobe Bryant. Now what most casual fans failed to realize after 20 years of Kobe was that he wasn't the black mamba from the start. Drafted at just 17 years old, Kobe's first three years in the league were average at best. I mean he was good but he wasn't a star like Shaq or Karl Malone and don't even compare him to Jordan at this point. Motivated by playoff failures and a desire to win with his new head coach Phil Jackson, Kobe entered the 2000 NBA Finals with something to prove. He was coming off a season in which he received second team all NBA honors and first team all defense, becoming the youngest player in history to be chosen as the top defensive player at his position. That showed in game one of the finals against veteran star Reggie Miller, in which Bryant almost single-handedly held to one for 16 shooting for a career playoff low seven points. But in game two, Bryant landed awkwardly on his ankle early in the second quarter, which caused him to miss the rest of the game and all of game three. He Jalen rose me. The Lakers were up two games to one heading into game four in serious danger of losing the next two games at Conseco Fieldhouse in Indiana. Bryant elected to play on his injured ankle, which required heavy taping and icing throughout the game. His first half was brutal, only six points and three fouls. Early in the second half, he picked up his fourth personal foul. Instead of sitting and risking ankle stiffness, he remained in the game, risking fouling out instead. He would pull the Lakers ahead with three consecutive buckets and the game would end up tied on a Sam Perkins three for Indiana. Shaq was still the main option. The Lakers would feed him early in the overtime, but with 233 remaining, he was called for a sixth and final foul on a rebound attempt. Bryant had his chance to show the world that he was more than a good player, and he did. In a historic finals clutch performance without the most dominant player in the league to assist him, Bryant scored three baskets to keep the lead intact for LA as the Lakers would go on to win 120 to 118 and take a three to one lead. It was in this moment that Mamba mentality was born for Kobe as he willed himself on a bad ankle with four fouls and no Shaq in the opponent's house in overtime in the finals to dominate down the stretch. Killer will and mentality stepping up to the challenge. And that mentality is the reason why I've grown to appreciate Kobe when I look back on his basketball career because all great athletes can stuff that stat sheet, but not all have that drive and will to win no matter what. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What is your favorite Kobe moment and why? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. And we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!